If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going over the Madden 21 market. Now, why am I doing this video today? Simple. Every Saturday, the market's going to do a few things that are pretty unique to the week. Uh, on a regular week specifically that I want to go over now to help you guys make tons of coins during the week as you guys do see from my coin count I'm nearing in on almost 2 million coins and pending once some more things sell because I know how to properly take advantage of Legend Saturday Now I'm gonna go over in just a second exactly how to do all that guys before we get into the video Make sure you're below hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell boys join the family Give this video a big thumbs up It's gonna help you guys throughout the week throughout the year specifically every single Saturday So make sure you guys do follow these tips and make sure to smash the like button it means a lot guys and guys, also, if you're looking for coins, don't forget, go down below into the description, muttreserve.com, use code Poodle at checkout, get super cheap coins, build the God Squad, guys, and yeah, pretty much it. Let's get into this. So pretty much here, the thing is this, Legend Saturday is a very unique day for the market. Now, I'm going to go over these like two or three things you want to be focused on every Saturday. First thing, guys, I'm going to show you guys the Legends and their current prices to kind of start the video off to give you guys an idea. So Dan Marino goes for 250 Richard Seymour goes for 258 and then there's a few other Legends which let me go down. Like Jerry Rice and a few other guys that did drop. So let me just rem remember the prices here so I can go through this for you guys. I'm going to start with Jerry Rice though. So here's the thing. When Legend Saturday initially kicks off and everyone and their mother is on this game and they start playing, here, here's what's going to happen. People, especially guys, this varies. So if there's a bad Legend drop, a good Legend drop, or a fire Legend drop, those are the variations. So guys, in, a fi in the first Legend drop of the year, this was bound to happen. When people first get on the game at 1030, people spam packs. So most of those packs crap out tons and tons of legends, especially set piece legends, which makes low overall cards, very cheap training options that are coming out of legends, like 83 legends, 82 legends, 84s, as well as high overall legends going for much cheaper because we can do the sets really cheap right now. So the best basis to follow guys, if it's a fire drop, the low 80, the low, the low legend and the set legend are going to be super cheap, like the low ones. And then the top legends are going to start coming down in price pretty quickly. If it's a moderate drop, again, it just kind of decreased a little bit. It'll be a little bit less. Uh, the, the sets, the low piece will be less because people open less packs. And the prices of the higher cards will be regular because they're not that great. And if it's a really bad legend drop, you can't expect too much to change, but a little bit will. But here's pretty much the base for every Saturday. What I like to do when legend packs drop is get in snipe mode. Guys, after I finished my video, I sniped out a bunch of full legends. I ended up doing a gameplay with them. I got Jerry Rice for 220k. I got... Dan Marino, for I did the set for Dan Marino because the set pieces were so cheap. So I put I built up set. I don't much exactly cost me, but after my gameplay, what you do is after you snipe all those cards that don't sell them instantly. Let's say you sniped out a Jerry Rice or any of these full legends for a lower price than what they go for, or whatever you found. So like the thing is, when if you look at the auction block, what you want to do is do this: set your filters and then go to a random filter, keep clicking all. You're gonna see it keep refreshing. So you're gonna see like Jerry Rice 270, Jerry Rice 240, Jerry Rice 260, and when you see it like 220, whatever. Okay, you look at the other overalls in his range. That's gonna go up. So I picked them up. After my gameplay was over, I resold them for 300k flat. And I made myself a profit of about 70k right there. And that wasn't just him, Dan Marino. I made another profit of about like, after the set piece and everything, I made a profit of about like 60, 70k. I bought some lower, lower legends, like set pieces, like a Richard Seymour. 86 for like 45k, resold it for 61k. I bought a bunch of stuff and I resold it for like a quarter to double my money every single time. Oh, of the like a quarter of the total value so like, i bought it for 200k i made a quarter i made like 50k so that's kind of what i was really working with there so you guys definitely want to be first off buying and flipping on legends all right and if you need training the best day to usually get it is on legend saturday as well because when the legends are coming out of packs real fast like low set ones like the 84s and the 82s and stuff so you guys an example right here these 82s and 83s were going for less than most did at the time. You can get them for like 12k, 13k, but and not like they're going for that. If you just keep refreshing, guys, people are rapidly selling. You can just get so many good deals. Also, you want to just be checking High Legend in general. You'll get so many snipes. Like you'll find Dan Marino will be like 250, 260, 230, 140. Whoa, out of nowhere because people are just spam selling quickly to get all the value because they spend money on packs, right? Spend 100 bucks. They want to quickly get a value back. What they know is it's really smart to hold, which is why I didn't sell any of the stuff I pulled either for my packs. Now, the next thing you guys want to be focusing on on Legends, on specifically right now, especially early in the year, here's the thing. So let's get out of, away from Legends. Now, this is where I made a lot of my coins. I said I made half from flipping Legends and the other half from this, pro, uh, just this right here. So on Legends Saturday, guys, the thing is, is that if there are some good Legends, people are going to want to power them up. 
and right now the price of training it's, it's like not many people have training right later in the year the training market's going to be absolutely massive so you don't have to worry too much about the training market then like at that it doesn't affect this but right now training is scarce like people buy training they use it it's gone buy training they use it it's gone everyone most people don't have that much training sitting around so they gotta always go get it now people don't want to quick sell their players so they have to go buy players so on a day like legend saturday so guys my best advice on new promos on new on new promos card drops legend saturdays always go check the price of your team because what i noticed very fast was a lot of bases ahead of my binder that went for like like let's say nick chubb went before for like maybe a 50k suddenly he went for 70k because everyone was buying all the training so training went from let's say 40 coins per to 40 coins 44 coins per and it went up so everyone was buying training because they want to power up jerry rice dan marino richard seymour especially the legends and early in the first few months people are gonna be powering up everything they get because that's just how you play the early stages quickly i noticed that so if you really do look here to give you guys a good example my chris jones i had went for 45k he went for that for a while i just sold my chris jones back i sold him for 87k now he's up to 98 potentially if this one sells i sold it for 87k so i made double my coins on chris jones Another good example, JJ Watt was going for 60, 70K. I just sold him for 105K. Now he's 93, but I sold him for 105. As you see, there was a few there. Um, some other good guys, some, even some lower ones, guys, like low, low elite wide receivers. A lot of them are going for crazy expensive right now. Now, not these, the lower ones. So, like, I was selling, like, my base, base elite, like the bottom ones. I was selling them exactly, like, for 25K, 24K. I was selling them for 18K, depending on whatever I got them for. I literally probably made, I'd say, close to double almost everything i sold or at least an extra 30 to 40k per even after reduction i made so many as you guys saw if you look at any of my other videos i did not just have almost two mil i just made so many coins so obviously you probably missed the rush but guys i don't know how many people are going to watch this video if a lot do watch i might kill this today but if you guys do take advantage right now first people watching go check what your core leads go for you can make a ton of coinage right now just go ahead and sell as many of your core elites as you can but check the price first right some positions may not be as impacted if they weren't good training values to begin with but if you really just look here, oh, I sold my Jason Kelsey. Another good example. I sold Jason Kelsey. I just sold him for 92K. I don't know what he's going for now, but Jason Kelsey was 45K before that or 50K. I sold him for 90K. Yeah, he's 83. He's right, he's right there. I bought him. I sold him a little bit before. So if you guys see, pretty much you can make almost double on every car. So go check that out. And again, I know you're going to say, but I'm not going to have a team. Well, yeah, no, it's fine. Sell today. If you just turned 800K into 1.6 million coins. And then just wait a few more days and then superstar mvp the second part with zeke and Julian, and all those guys are going to drop and the market's going to crash again then you can go and buy them all back so you can either you can turn 800k into 1.6 million and then go buy them back and now you have a stacked team again and you have 800k versus having zero or if you have two million coins you know you know you guys get the point you can pretty much double and then buy back at half the price that's kind of how i always make most of my coins but it's just unbelievable how many coins you can be making right now the market completely flipped the legend market crashed and then it skyrocketed back up and then core lead skyrocketed back up and i made a, like at least i probably say about a million coins i had 800k before and suddenly i have 1.8 mil I, i'm just telling you guys i made a ton of coins now did i make it all clean no there was some reduction and there were some players that i, I pulled of course so not all of it's clean but i did make a ton of coins and uh, guys it's not even everything i still have a lot of things selling i have like five or seven things and there's a lot more in my binder i haven't even touched yet because it's just i had to get to this video so i want to sell everything but you can make a ton of coins so go check out your core leads and don't forget this advice guys for any new promo any good any new legends any saturday legends when they when a new promo first drops saturday legends you go straight to the market and you watch the dip sometimes if but these packs weren't spitting out elites they were spitting out a lot of legends so legends drop if they drop packs to spit out elites elites will drop guys this week if they drop another elite pack bundle or they drop some more stuff the cards are gonna drop again and i promise you chris jones is not staying at 85 90k it's not happening he's he's too high of a price the training doesn't add up when training you can pretty much look at it like like in real life when training exceeds away from its equilibrium up here it will come back to the average so it's going to be up it'll come down and then a mark crash will send it back down so you pretty much want to always sell when it's far up let it come back on a big crash here buy back and then when it comes back up you can work it again you just follow the top, the top and the bottom it's like a wave the whole entire time pretty much how i always played madden hope you guys did i hope this advice is useful for you guys and of course i will make another video like this next saturday going over the legend market and stuff i like to do this a lot on saturdays just really seems right considering the, the state of the market now some cards won't be uh, some cards won't be touched of course there's gonna be cards like barry sanders who has no part in the market because he's just a set and now it will catch up with him later as people start to realize okay these cards are really expensive can't do barry set it'll come up or the market crash you can do barry set and so on and so forth i just see dan marino just keeps going up and up in price richard seymour keeps going up and up in price because it's just a matter of the fact that the market crash happened 
and now things are settling back and settling back because people were overselling people don't want to risk losing their coins on their packs which is dumb because like i said if i had sold my jerry rice and dan marino when i first got them i would have made 220 and 220 just about or one no, like 190 ish and 220 ish but instead now i just made uh let's see i sold them for about whatever i, sold, I forgot to sold them for i just said it before but together they combined for almost 550k that's a solid value considering i would have made back only like 400k even at, and that's not with reduction but guys hope you guys enjoyed make sure to give this video a big thumbs up smash the like button of course turn on the noti bell hit the sub button boys if you did enjoy info and you want to see more info like this all year make sure to sub and turn the noti bell on so you always get notified when i make a video just like this i will make a more uh, guide on just doubling and flipping coins like this at some point later in the year well not later probably like sometime this week maybe even tomorrow but yeah, that's about it, guys. Use code pool at checkout at Mutt Reserve down below, 15% off. Go buy some coins, guys. If you missed it on the coin search today, pick up some coins, use that for now. Or even just get some startup coins for sniping and doing all that. But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.